How's it going everyone? It's me Lone, back again with another Fallout 76 video, and today we're going to be covering the topic of legendary script in Fallout 76, and let me explain why. So recently, the PTS for Steel Rain has gone live on the Bethesda Net launcher. If you own the game there, you can check it out and all the new content coming to the game. There's some really exciting stuff in there, and the one thing that I wanted to touch on is legendary crafting. Now mind you, in the past, I've never really covered PTS content on this channel because one, it's spoiler content and not everyone wants to be spoiled, but also two, stuff in the PTS is subject to change, like that's the idea of the PTS, features go into there, the community shares their feedback and potentially changes are made. So when I do my guide videos, I don't want to say one thing now, have something change and then have that advice be redundant, you know, sometime to, in, into the future. But there's certain things that I can say now that can help you prepare here for whenever this update goes live officially on the live server. I did that with special loadouts and I can do that again with legendary crafting. So I just want to jump into the game and get into all of that and the advice that I have for you now to get ready for legendary crafting when it comes into the game. So if you enjoyed this video, please like it. I would really appreciate it. Subscribe if you're new, but with all that out of the way, let's get to the video. Okay, so we're in the game right now and let's quickly talk about the current iteration of legendary crafting as it stands in the PTS. And quite simply, Legendary Crafting currently allows you to roll Legendary Attributes on non-Legendary weapons and armor pieces that you own in the game, and also re-roll Legendary Attributes on Legendary weapons and Legendary armor pieces that you own as well. And the way that you do that is essentially by modifying the item in question using several items. And the first one is called a Legendary Core. I'm not going to be talking about those in this video because it's a new piece of content. And also second, legendary modules. Legendary modules, of course, we are all familiar with. These are the things that we've been using in the game currently to roll Gauss miniguns, legendary Gauss miniguns, legendary Secret Service armor. Essentially, a lot of those key uh, pieces of equipment that we can purchase plans for from gold bullion in the game. And they're some of the best items in the game. So right now, legendary modules are still very, very important. But obviously moving forward, it looks like they're going to be gaining a bit more importance in the game as well. So what I want to suggest to all of you right now to prepare for Legendary Crafting when it comes out is essentially hoard Legendary Modules unless you really need to use them right now. Like unless you're trying to get a specific Gauss minigun or Gauss shotgun or Gauss pistol or Secret Service armor, you know, which is one of the best, you know, pieces of armor in the game. Unless you have a specific purpose right now and you're not just mindlessly rolling to see what you can get, I would suggest right now just hoard as many legendary modules as you can because you can actually store these in your stash once you purchase them. And of course we know that when you're at the um, the Rusty Pick and talking to the purveyor, so I actually haven't um, purchased my legendary modules. Um, you can buy them and I'm going to just buy right now, why not? Uh, so I'll spend 500 to get that many, uh, all 10. And then I'm going to go to my stash. Uh, it's, they're in miscellaneous, right? Legendary, <coughs> excuse me, legendary module, and I'll store them. Now, they're obviously, they, they weigh a little bit, like 10 of them have a stack weight of three. So you, you want to be careful with how many you are, you are storing, but try and do that. So when this new feature comes out, you have a bunch of legendary modules in the game that you can actively use. But then, well, how do you get legendary modules? You just saw the process and the transaction. You purchase them from the purveyor using legendary script. So what I want to do in this video is essentially tell you the main ways and pretty much all the ways, I believe, to get legendary script in the game to allow you to get legendary modules to allow you to hoard them as much as you can, right? And you know, keep in mind that you can only have a max of 1000 legendary script in the game at any one time. So once you get close to that level or even at that level, uh, where is it? There we go. Once you get close or at to that 1000 level of legendary scripts, you need to use it. Otherwise, the more that you, you can't get any more, right? But you need to use it. Um, and the way that I suggest doing that, again, if you want to hoard these legendary modules, is by buying them and putting them in your stash. So, what are the main ways to get legendary script in the game? We're going to cover the main ones, and I think the main main one that you all know um, is, used, is by using legendary exchange machines. Every day, you can exchange uh, unwanted legendary weapon uh, weapons and armor pieces that you own for up to 150 legendary script. So let's say I don't want this furious minigun. I mean, I, mean, I don't want to get rid of that. Nocturnal shovel. I'll get rid of that right now. So 40. All right. Ghoul Slayer's Gauss pistol. I don't want that. Another 40. 
Um, Mutant's Pie Pistol, sure. I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of this uh, Suppressor's Baseball Bat. And last one, I'll get rid of this Stalker's uh, Power Fist, right? So, there's my 150 Legendary Script for the day. But there's actually a way to get more Legendary Script every single day. This is not the main way. And some of you might know this, but I want to cover a lot of different ways in the game that you can get Legendary Script every single day, okay? So let's move on to the next uh, way that you can get Legendary Script. Alrighty, so we're at Foundation right now, and there's a reason for that, and that's because the second way to earn Legendary Script in the game is by completing daily quests, as the name implies, every single day. So yes, there is a way to earn even more Legendary Script on top of the 150 that you can obtain by exchanging items at the Legendary Exchange machines. So if you open up your Pip-Boy, go to the Data tab, and then to the Daily tab, you can see a bunch of daily quests here. So generally, most daily quests in the game will give you Legendary Script as a reward upon completion. Not all of them, but most of them. So in this video, I'm just going to tell you which ones, right? Which ones you need to complete to get Legendary Script. In the description, there is a link to all of the quests in the game, so you can figure out for yourself there if you'd like to. But let me tell you which ones. So there are three types of daily quests in the game. One that are with, ones that are with the base game, ones that are with uh, Wastelanders, and ones that are with Wild Appalachia. The Wild Appalachia Daily Quests, like Operation Tidy, Stings and Things, Tipsy Taste Test, and Wasted on Alcohol, none of them are going to uh, give you Legendary Script as a reward when you complete them, right? Their purposes are different. So, none of the Wild Appalachia Daily Quests. But, the Wastelanders Daily Quests, all of them, are going to give you Legendary Script as a reward on completion. So, Retirement Plan, The Importance of Communication, Photo Opportunity, and Vital Equipment. Complete those every day to get even more Legendary Script in the game. And then we look at the base game daily quests. This is where most of them offer you. Not all of them, but most of them offer you Legendary Script as a reward. And the ones that do are Big Game Hunter, Buried with Honor, Copper Squatter, Dross Toss, Ecological Balance, Heart of the Enemy, Idle Explosives, Lucky Mucker, Pass the Buck, Playtime, Queen of the Hunt, Someone to Talk to, Strange Brew, The Chow Line, Thrill of the Grill, and Waste Knot. Those are the ones that are going to give you a Legendary Script as a reward. So as you can see, there's a ton of them, right? So to give you a quick example, I have da uh, Daily Vital Equipment active right now, and this is the one at Foundation, where you talk to Ward, Alright, and he's going to give you a little quest, right? And upon completion, I'm not going to do it right now, but upon completion, you get a small amount of legendary script. So the idea is you keep doing it. Move from daily quest to daily quest to get as much legendary script as you can every single day. It obviously depends how involved you want to get into it, but that is a great way to get as much uh, legendary script and therefore as many legendary modules as you can in the game. So, that's the second way. The third way to earn legendary script in the game is by completing daily ops. And of course, you can do daily ops every single day. So go to the map, go to uh, the world activity menu, like you expand that, and then you can see the current daily op for the day. Today's one is decryption. So essentially, when you complete a daily op and get the elder rank, so you have to complete it within eight minutes or less, if you get the Elder Rank, you have the potential to get anywhere from 5 to 50 Legendary Script as a reward. So that means you can only do that once a day because you can only get the Elder Rank once a day, right? It's none of the other ranks that you get. So, yes, you can actually do that. So, don't just do Daily Ops just to get the rare plans and the other rewards that you can get. That's a great reason to do that, but also as well, the cherry on top is that you get an amount of Legendary Script. And you can get very lucky and get 50, right? So for sure, do daily ops every single day when you can. The fourth way to get Legendary Script is by completing the uh, scoreboard. Why did I shoot over it? There's actually Legendary Script all over the scoreboard um, for this current season. So this current season is Armor Race and the Power Patrol and Cold Steel. So of course the way that you move up the board and progress is by earning score. And the way that you earn score, why do I keep backing out of stuff? is by going to challenges and seeing what daily challenges and weekly challenges there are. All going to give you a certain amount of score, right? Then, you're going to progress up the board and look at how many times there are legendary scripts. So, I want to really quickly try and identify this. 250 there, right? The next one, I believe, was... Where is it? There's more. There's another one. 250 there. And then there's more. I know there's at least one more. Uh, another uh, 250 there. And is there one more before that? Not there. I might have missed one, but as you can see, 
Those specific reward tiers on the scoreboard will give you 250 pieces of legendary script. And that's not ins insignificant. That's going to get you a decent amount of legendary modules um, so that you can haul them again to, to be able to use in the future. So that is the fourth way to earn legendary script in the game. But there's actually a fifth way. So let's jump again and I'll get to that last way. Alrighty, so now we are at Crater. And the reason why we are at Crater is because here is the next way and the final way that I'll cover in this video that you can earn legendary script in the game. So go to the crater core, okay? The reason why you want to go into the crater core is because there is someone that you can actually recruit as an ally. So you know that the way allies work in the game, you get them, they sit at your camp if you build a specific camp item for them, and they give you, or they can give you, certain quests, right? And that when you complete those quests, you get rewards. Some of them will give you like legendary items as a reward, but this ally here, is called Raider Punk, right? And if you actually recruit him, I want to show you me um, recruiting him, right? So I've been around, I've seen things, kid. No, 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 no. Let's just skip all this, all right, all right. Uh, yep, got it. He's got a radio. Uh, you can stay in my place for 50 caps a day. 50 caps a day? What? But I tell you what, I know people who know things. I can find valuables. Yeah. All right. All right. I like it. I like, I like it, punk. Give me a radio. Say your buys and meet me at my camp. Look at that. So we've recruited punk. Okay. So the idea is that you set up the, you know, I'm just going to do it. Let's just go back to my camp. The idea is that you set up this radio to have punk as an ally. And every uh, couple of days or so, I believe he's going to give you quests that as a reward, you're going to get caps potentially, and an amount of legendary script. I actually didn't know this until I started looking into it. This is another way and a fairly easy way for you to earn legendary script in the game. So if I go to my camp objects, uh, where is the ally stuff? Is allies right at the end? I can never remember where it is. Uh, maybe it's up here. Why did I go all the way down there just for that? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm such an idiot, honestly. Why, why do you all listen to me? Raider Punk Radio, let's build that, okay? So now, we are going to have the Raider Punk. Eventually, he shows up at some, at some time. But he's a... Um, oh, what if I sat here? What if I used the radio? Is that going to spawn him? Huh? No, I think he just shows up because he has to say his buys. But yes, once the Raider appears and he starts to give you daily quests... You will get legendary script as a reward. There he is! <laughs> Hello! Raider Punk! Took your time. So let's talk to him. Let's see if he actually gives me the the quest. He might not. It might not activate straight away because I've never done this before. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let me explain. I uh, Secret network. Oh, secret network. So what's today's hot tip? Pick this one. Yep. There's apparently a broken device out there that could be helpful in the network. If it picks it up, I just need you to pick it up. Give me a location, buddy. Sweet. Should be pretty rad. All right, good luck out there. Thank you. I appreciate that. So he's given me the quest called Genetic Tracks. He has a bunch of quests. Genetic Tracks, Time to Collect, Making Sacrifices, Rescue Agency, and Squash the Mothman. All of those apparently are going to give you Legendary Script as a reward. So I've just showed you in, in real time how to recruit Raider Punk. Of course, you have to complete uh, Waysanders. But you can get him as an ally and get even more Legendary Script in the game. So I hope this video helped, all right? Just helping you with script, but also modules and also in the future with Steel Rain. So with that out of the way, let's get to the conclusion. Alrighty, that was a big video. I hope you enjoyed this, everyone. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other questions. And until next time, this has been the Lone Bot Wanderer. Please take care of yourselves and would you kindly keep fighting the good fight.